Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play with Clay. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of the house because it's pretty much done. And this is the pen for Dragon and for the donkey. And I apologize in advance if you can hear any July 3rd fireworks going on in the background. The party has started early. It's not even July 4th yet. So anyways, um, if we look at the house from this angle, it's... It's all right. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's all right. And I, I might have um, gardens outside or something in the future. I'm not really sure what I'll do with that space yet because I feel like the side of that house is kind of boring. So one of the things that I did was I actually expanded this area because I didn't like how tiny my bedroom is. So that's what I did. And yeah. Um, I want to apologize, by the way, for the glitchiness of this video. Um, I don't know why my screen recorder recorded this in the wrong codec. I, I really don't know what happened, um, but oh well. I'll try to get that fixed. I mean, I'm going to keep on with the episodes, and it's not the worst thing in the world, and it's, it is what it is. But yeah, this is where I'm going to have my inventory. I'm going to have furniture in here, and it's probably going to lead downstairs to somewhere at some point. I think I might build a um, staircase in here that goes down. And I know it's kind of in front of the window, but I kind of like having the little, almost a window seat in there too. So, yeah. And I had to cover this thing in torches. So right over here might be where we also go downstairs. I mean, this area right here where I'm standing will be the living room for sure. So that's pretty much it for the most part. I think everything is done. Yeah, so that's that's just about it. So yeah, I moved all of the pets over here too. All the really important pets because of reasons. So anyways, um, I am going to do some other stuff and I will see you guys when we do that stuff. So I'll cut here and I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, so as usual now, we're gonna do a lucky block, and that didn't go in the cauldron. It's so much easier to throw it in the cauldron if I just stand on top of it. So there we go, and piece of gold. Give me that lucky block. I don't think I'm gonna use the lucky blocks in season two though, because there was another mod that I tried to use and they con it conflicted with that, so I think this is like a um, the only one. And ooh, that's nice. I mean, I have a diamond chest plate, but it's still really nice, you know, in the event that we lose something before we fight the Ender Dragon. That was a really loud firework back there, by the way. So, all right, I'm gonna go cut down some trees and do some things, and I will be right back. Uh, Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm finishing up this, because this is where my, um, what do you call it? I'm going to have kind of like a garden down here, or like my wheat, and I'm going to have my carrots down here too, because I haven't actually planted carrots yet, which makes me feel kind of bad. And I don't know why I feel like I need that many carrots, but I feel like I do. So... I love the way that the polished andesite looks in this texture pack like this. I think these look like genuine bricks and it's so castle looking in a way and I just I absolutely love it. And for me personally of all of the new stone blocks that were added the polished andesite is really the only one that I like. <laughs> so even in the um Conquest Texture Pack. It's still the only one that I like. So, yeah. This is my dungeon. <laughs> I guess you could call it that. Yeah, if I sound tired, I apologize. It's just, it's been a long day. And also, there was a, um, woman who came in the discovery room today with her two-year-old and her five-year-old, and they were really nice children. Um, the mother, on the other hand, she... <sighs> Some parents really get on my nerves sometimes. And this mother in particular, her... She's... 
not really paying that close of attention to her two-year-old. So her two -year we have like a ramp that has dinosaur footprints painted on it, and we want the kids to try to walk like a dinosaur, which is really hard to do because of the way a dinosaur's stride is. So this kid's, you know, walking around on the ramp, and then she goes up to the stairs, she lifts up her dress, and the kid's got no underwear on, no diaper, or anything like that. And she pees on the stairs. And I mean she pees. Now, you have to understand that she's two years old, so I'm not holding anything against the child because she's two years old. So anyways, she is you know, doing this, peeing on the floor, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It, it was just, I, I had no words. I mean, what in the world? So my coworker who was there with me, who really held it together through the thing, which I give her a lot of credit for, because it was only her second day, she finally convinced the mother to put a diaper on her child. The reason why the kid didn't have a diaper, by the way, was because the mother was potty training her, which does not make absolutely any sense because that's what pull-ups are for. So the kid just, you know, she's very uncomfortable, obviously, because she just peed all over herself. And why did I put this here? See, I'm talking and I'm putting things in places where they don't need to be because there's going to be dirt in here. Something really wrong with me. Um, no, wait, I can put the dirt on top of the stone. And then it'll be fine. No, no, it's not going to be fine. I'm going to get rid of it. Because that's just stupid what I'm doing right now. Anyways, so the kid, you know, she's uncomfortable. So she keeps touching herself between her legs because she just peed all over herself. And her mother never cleaned off her legs or her feet or anything like that. And the poor kid, you know, she's uncomfortable, but she's two. So she doesn't know any better. And she's walking around the room trying to touch all the stuff in the room. So I went downstairs to the front desk where the security is basically stationed and I did this after I had tried to find my supervisor and try to find a custodian who could at least sanitize the area where she peed and I couldn't find those people so I went to security and one of the security guys who's very cool he came up and, or yeah he came upstairs with um some sanitation spray and a mop and he was willing to mop it up um my coworker put some towel paper towels over it at least so that like the kids that were in the room wouldn't step in it we basically had to close off the ramp so that none of the kids could walk on it and um surprisingly i don't know if people like maybe didn't notice or were just not bothered by it, but none of the guests in the discovery room really complained or got angry about it, which was really nice. And, I mean, if I was there with my child, I would have been very upset about the whole situation, not like in a sanitation sense, but in the sense of here's a child walking around who keeps showing off her privates and she just peed, and for some reason her mother didn't have the sense to put a diaper on her because she's two and she's not potty trained. So... That was some interesting lag. That zombie had levitation powers. So, yeah, I, I emailed my boss about it, too, because he wasn't there this afternoon, or this evening, and it just... I Eventually, what I was able to do was convince the mother to take her other daughter and the younger daughter to the bathroom, because the older daughter had to go to the bathroom, too, and I could tell because she was like squirming where she was sitting and you know how kids are when they gotta pee so I you know told her mother and her mother said well she usually tells me when she asks to go to the bathroom I said oh she's gotta go she's been squirming in her seat she needs to go to the bathroom and so her mother did take her and everything and it looked like she had washed her daughter's hands and whatnot and washed her legs but it was just I, I was so tempted honestly to ask the mother to leave the room because of how unsanitary this was and it wasn't the fault of her daughter it was the fault of the mother but it just it wasn't really possible you know what i mean it, we try not to kick people out of the room unless it's absolutely necessary um the security guy you know that i had spoken to he had said you know if you ever need help up here let me know if you can't find your supervisor and I can be like you know a presence here and I said thank you for that and that was really wonderful but I oh my god you know 
this was just, this was a first for the discovery room. I mean, you don't really have like a plan of action for something like this when it happens. It's like, there, there's nothing, there's no procedure for a child peeing on the floor because her mother didn't put a diaper on her because that's how ridiculous the situation is. I mean, kids have accidents in all kinds of places, but most rational people have their child in diapers at two or pull-ups or at least underwear. Like the no underwear thing was what was really getting next to me was the fact that the kid had absolutely no underwear on. How can you not put underwear on your child? Aside from the fact that your daughter's in dress and little girls lift up their skirts all the time because they're little girls and they do that and they don't care what people see. They're little girls. But the fact that she had nothing covering her, so basically her daughter is, you know, her body is being humiliated in a sense, or at least being shown off, which is disgusting. You know, in not like her body being disgusting, but her body being on display like that at two years old is very disgusting. And then on top of that, you know, whenever she sits down, anything that is on that surface is going to get on her private places. You don't do that. You don't subject your child to that. You just don't. And I know that this is a very deep and very dramatic conversation for Minecraft, but it really upset me. And not like in the sense of me disliking working there, because I love working there, but it just upset me. I mean, what a horrible position for a child to be in, and all because her mother didn't have the sense to put a diaper on. She obviously had diapers, so it's not like she couldn't put a diaper on her child. So, and this is not a woman who was like, who didn't have the money for diapers because I know some people cannot afford diapers and I get it but this woman had like an iPad okay and she was dressed to the nine and so um there were it was her kids were all dressed up really nice too and everything so it's not like they couldn't afford diapers okay I just want to make that point um and I also want to put the doors back but yeah the I don't know why I have doors here, I just do. Like, they're pocket doors, we'll call them that, even though they don't actually slide in. Which, by the way, would be an incredible mod if somebody could put pocket doors in there, because that would be great. So, I am going to put all of this in here, and I'm going to kind of divide it in half in a way, and we will have things. And I think it will be, you can do gardens underground, so it should be light enough under here that I should be able to have everything grow. Because I think it's a thing in Minecraft where, like, you can plant the crops, but the crops will never, like, grow, or they'll take very long to grow if there's no um, light. So, I need a hoe. <laughs> that, that would be a good thing to have. It's, what am I doing? <laughs> I need a shovel. That's, that's not what I need. I need a hoe. God, long, long, long time ago, this, um, if you're really young, you probably never watched the show, but a long, long, long time ago, I think I can do it here. I think if I just put water in all four corners, we'll have full coverage, because you only need four. Anyways, so, um, a long, long time ago, for Pimp My Ride, this really old TV show, they used to be on MTV, and it was it was um, hosted by Exhibit, and so there was this woman with a, um, you know, wanted her car to get pimped, obviously, and so pimping your ride in the TV show meant, you know, people, they would fix up your ride. So anyways, this woman would, um, she had, you know, her truck in the driveway, and the driveway, the truck's, you know, hub or whatever, you know, the back of the truck was just full of, uh, um, garden hose. <laughs> but, 
exhibit was so funny because he'd like pull all of the hose out of the trip be like, look what we've got, we've got hose. It's like, I'm talking about garden hose, stop tripping. It's, it was just, it was the best. It's, it's kind of one of those things where I think you'd have to watch it. Okay, yeah, so we've got full coverage of water. That's great. So we can definitely plant crops. And I need to go get my carrots and my seeds. I'm going to be a very happy person when I move all of my inventory to the house, which I probably should have done before I did this, but oh well. So anyways, um, life. It happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry about the glitchiness. I'm going to try really hard to um, fix this problem. So, that'll be gone soon. Where are my carrots? I have carrots. I know I do. They exist. There they are. Oh, and more seeds too. Nice. Okay, so I have carrots and I have seeds and I will go plant now. Planting, 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 planting. Whole lot of planting. So right now in my neighborhood it's quiet, which is good because I was worried I wouldn't have this episode up because I liked being able to give you guys an extra episode on Friday, even though that's not the episode that was supposed to go up. It was supposed to be Sims 4, but we saw what happened with that. So anyways, um, the, the series is still going. It's just not going right now. Huh? Oh no, is this that 1.8 glitch where you can't put crops next to each other for some stupid reason? Do I not have enough water? I think I just don't have enough water. So I'll break that one. And I think I'll just take the water and put it in the middle. And I think that'll do it. That one, and that one, that one, and that one. So, unlimited water source. I don't know why I needed to do that. You only need two buckets of water to make an unlimited water source, so I didn't lose any... Yeah, so it's still all wet. Um, So yeah, I'll just fill those in, and I guess it should be okay now. I hope. I definitely have enough light in here, I mean, I, I don't think that's the problem. So... Oh, and I need to fill in that one too. Oh my god, could my scroll wheel just work like once in my life? So, put that one there, that one there, oh, and why it's right next to water. Hmm. I don't get it. There's something wrong with this, like, area right here. I, I think we might not have the right light level. Which is really annoying. So, let me get my carrots back. So, yeah, just gonna get my carrots and go about my business. Um, I kind of had to pause recording my commentary this time and come back. And I have the noise gator on now. There, there was a lot of noise going on in the background and I was basically waiting for it to, um, you know, dissipate. Which, by the way, between, like, halfway through me, um, picking up my carrots, there's, there was like a good 20 minutes of time that passed. <laughs> Just so you know. But you only saw it for like a second. So 20 minutes is a second. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? So what I want to do is make glowstone. And glowstone goodness. I'm drinking water, by the way because watery goodness. 
it is strawberry lemon it's strawberry watermelon flavored water and we're gonna throw away all of these because we don't need them for anything like I'm not actually gonna build anything with clay even though this is called let's play with clay we're playing with clay because there's clay next to us that's a that's all the meaning that there is in the name of this series. And, well, I couldn't think of anything else, so, yeah. And run, 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 run. I should go get those swiftness potions, but I just, I don't feel like it. I'm like, to heck with that. So, I think I've reached a point with this episode where I just don't care anymore. <laughs> about the background noise or about anything, really. I'm just like, whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. So now it's like really ridiculously bright in here. And if any of these crops don't plant the way that they're supposed to, I am going to go insane. So let me get everything out of my inventory and I will... Put that there and that there and that there. And I want to just do it in the middle because I think that will give me better water coverage. And I don't know why, again, I got four of these for that. Oh, I know why. You know what? I can do this. This is really horrible lag. But <laughs> I think this will make it better. I mean, it can be running water. It doesn't have to be still. But I just need it to be still because... The water not running will drive me up a wall. I mean, it will drive me up a wall to the point where, like, I'll be going up the wall and then, like, to the ceiling and then to, like, various other places in the world. So the next thing that I want to do is go get more water and eat. Eating is kind of a good thing for me to do right now. And the next thing that I'm going to do is run. <laughs> yeah, I i don't feel like this is boring. I actually think it's kind of fun because I'm talking about all kinds of stories related to my job and everything. And I, I don't know, I feel like these things are kind of... Um, that was interesting. Oh, it's because I took two buckets out too quickly. Oh, I didn't use the infinity water pool the right way. I didn't know that. Th I about that. Um, I just stutter really horribly, and I and I don't have a stutter, so yeah. But I didn't know about that. It's really hard for me to say a sentence like "but I didn't know about that" because there's too many things that sound the same. Like "but" and "about" sound the same, and I can't make myself go through the door right now. <laughs> that was interesting. I just kept shutting the door in my face, like. I, bah, you're not welcome in your own home. <laughs> it's like myself. You're not welcome here. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like heavily cracking myself up over that right now. Oh my god, I did it. I never do that that well. I always mess that up somehow and I have to go back and get more water. <laughs> it's like, screw you myself. How dare you myself try to come into my home. So let me um, plant my carrots and my seeds and have happy universe with a garden. I should probably come through here and with bone meal too. I'll do that after I do this. I mean, I I have a continuous wheat farm upstairs, yes, but after all of that grows, I'm going to dismantle that farm. And it will no longer exist. I don't know what I'm going to do with my melon farm and my pumpkin farm. Along with my nether wart. Like, I think I want to move my sugar cane to somewhere in the house. Because I kind of would like to have, you know, bamboo looking plants in my house. Because I think it will be pretty. But, yeah. I don't know yet. So let me put those in there. 
and for some reason I keep hiccuping to it. I'm surprised you guys haven't actually heard it, but I just hiccuped like a moment ago. What do I want to do next? I want... What was it that I was going to do? I don't even remember. It wasn't that. It was this. Bone meal. This is what I was going to do. And I'm going to learn how to like go back and forth between the hidey hole and my house. And I'm going to be so happy when I can finally fill the hidey hole in with clay. Because I need silk touch in order to move my bookshelves because I'm not making more bookshelves. It's like I want to be able to just take them apart, which probably would be faster for me to just make new bookshelves. But I, I can't be logical with Minecraft. It's a computer game. Why would you ever be logical with Minecraft? Um, but anyways... I mean, think of how long it took us to get, oh, I don't know, sheeps to drop mutton. I mean, it literally took a long time for sheeps to drop mutton. And that would have been a very logical thing. But, and that took four bone meal, which is ridiculous. Because it's really only supposed to take three bone meal for something to grow at the most. It shouldn't take four. So that was stupid. And I, I still hate that they did this in 1.3 and I really wish that they would um, fix this because the Instagrow from Bone Meal was a really nice thing and they never should have taken that away. And I mean Captain Sparkle said it best when he reviewed that snapshot. They nerfed Bone Meal because that is exactly what they did. They nerfed it. And I don't even know what nerfing means. like Because when I think of nerf or just the word nerf, I think of like nerfing as you go out and you shoot somebody with one of your nerf guns from the 90s when it was like the soft foam thing. I mean, who didn't love to shoot each other with soft foam things? That, that was, I just fell. But that was fun. I liked doing that. I liked shooting people with foam. It wasn't violent because it was foam. I mean, I mean, it was violent, but it was a safe violence. Like, pleasant violence, which is a really bizarre oxymoron. <laughs> um, so, in the comments, tell me what your favorite oxymoron is. Because I think my favorite... I'm going to leave that be. But I think my favorite oxymoron is military intelligence. And that doesn't say that people who are in the military are dumb. I don't want it to come across that way, but it's kind of satirical and it pokes fun at the fact that people in the military are just like slaughtering cows and all you see is fire in your face. Um, but the military is not necessarily intelligent in the sense that soldiers don't think for themselves they're they have to follow every order so the military is not really intelligent the military is robotic so when we say military intelligence that is a massive oxymoron but it's also kind of humorous i think so anyways that being said i want to thank you guys very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe comment and like if you want to see more and I will see you guys next time. Your support of this series is greatly appreciated. To help keep this Let's Play alive, go ahead and click anywhere on the screen to watch the next episode.